Hey, Carl, that's right. Amid the recent sell-off, very few investors are actually capitalizing on the other side of the trade. That's because short sellers are hard to find these days. Short interest for the typical stock is at a near 2 decade low with the median S&P 500 short interest as a percentage of market cap around 1.6 percent levels reached in 2021, but previously not seen since the dot-com era. While it's a missed opportunity for hedge funds, which are experiencing unprecedented underperformance already relative to the S&P this year, the shorts shakeout has a main culprit, according to Goldman Sachs. It's retail investors. The firm says their basket of the most concentrated uh, short position trades in correlation to the rise in retail activity. In other words, when retail is more active, as they've been in recent weeks, that basket jumps, causing losses for hedge funds short those names. That, of course, makes them less inclined to go short in general, and therefore they miss out when the market trades lower, as it has done over the last week or so. So for those who still felt compelled to go short, this week did create a few winners for them. The top names in the concentrated short basket include Beyond Meat and Workhorse Group, which both slumped over the last week. Uh, you can see there uh, Beyond down about 6%, Workhorse down almost 12%. Hedge funds have been feeling the pain on the long side too, though, during Q3. Hedge funds actually lifted their exposure to high multiple growth stocks to reach a new record high. Of course, many of those are still unprofitable and feeling the brunt of the sell-off this week. Guys. Uh, Leslie, brace yourself. I'm about to ask a really weird question, which is sometimes <laughs> I'm going to compare this, this shortage of shorts to what happens in ecosystems sometimes. People get upset at beavers, right, for building dams in places that they don't want. But if you get rid of beavers, you can often cause a whole ripple effect in an ecosystem that sets it off balance and creates dangerous effects. Are we perhaps seeing a beaver effect in short sellers? Leave it to the beavers. I, I do love that analogy, John. And you're, you're bring up a really, really good point, because obviously the presence of short interest has been a boon for the retail investors who've been able to benefit from the short squeezes, especially those that took place earlier this year. They continue to look for others, which, of course, has led to many hedge funds staying on the sidelines when it comes to short sellers because they don't want to be victim to this. Now, when you look at a chart like the one we showed you at the beginning of this hit showing the, the lowest amount of short interest compared to the dot-com era, it does kind of bring up some analogies. And people say, you know, history doesn't repeat itself, it rhymes. Well, is that a sign that perhaps people are either too bullish about the market, too mm -hmm. bullish about where valuations are, of course, hedge funds increasing their exposure to stocks with a multiple above 10 times EBITDA, uh, or is it a sign that there's this kind of other dynamic going on with retail that really says nothing about what's going on with regard to the market as a whole? I think those are the types of questions we're going to be asking as we try and kind of dissect what's going on right now.